Okay, Carl. I'll lock myself in the toilet if you come out of the closet. Big joke. I'm not an oily rag sort of girl. Hmm. A breath of fresh air. A bicycle pump for one of those wacky Mars bikes. A nail gun adapted to shoot nails. Thank <laughs> you. 
What am I doing? This is really horrible. A kind of screwdriver, electronically operated. Welcome to Mars, and already I'm fully climatized. I'm fitting in here just dandy. They put me in Arkham Dorm. The place names and car signs around here, around here, are a bit of a beta-based joke. But it feels so sort of weird in there. I was dreamt in color until I slept in Arkham Dorm. Now all my dreams are in black and white. Mr. Ober, he's a cheap supervisor. Won the big career out here along with Felici and Haraway. He gave up his quarters to May Lynn and moved into Arkham with his lower grades. I guess the idea was to boost morale in the dorm. He's a great guy, Mr. Ober. In fact, I gave him one of the abstract paintings I composed yesterday. I did two paintings, each an exact duplicate of the other. It's a sort of common and human duality and, you know, deep stuff like that. They started me off on dark maintenance. My job may not sound much, but it's important. And it'll lead to bigger things. I'm young. I'm going for it. I made a good start. I just know I'm going to have a great time here on Mars. There's something in here, just within reach. That gap's too small, and my shoulders are too wide. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. A small toy buggy.
exposed to harsh atmospheric conditions. Leave now. of the base doesn't blow it right out of the hole and across the face of Mars. Mood, can you hear me? I am a subunit of Mood, which is one of the highly advanced YX009 series of computers, possessing consciousness and a personality based on a living person. Mood is an InfoMesh computer requiring a telepathic link with an expert InfoMesh operator for full interaction. Mood's artificial personality, extrapolated from that of a celebrated actress, is at present disengaged. To engage artificial personality, please use the Omniscan headset. Warning, those not experienced in the InfoMesh interaction will be unable to activate the headset and may suffer severe adverse symptoms. Mood! This is a recording. I'm not in at the moment, but if you care to leave a message, I promise I'll get back to you sometime before the end of the millennium. Maybe you can stop pretending you're a recording and we can get down to meshing. What about it, Mood? Don't mesh with me, saucy boy. We haven't been formally introduced. Then allow me to introduce myself informally. I'm Kenzo. And I'm Mood, as you well know. Now I hope you've not dropped in for an idle chat. I was sleeping when you called. I feel decidedly under par. If we absolutely have to chat, then give me a boost. I think I'll nod off again. Mood, wake up! There's nothing more to say. Now clear off and let me sleep. That's the end of that, of that. If we absolutely have to chat, then give me a boost from that wonky power cord. Will you, sweetie? glycerine whizzing down the tubes. It'll blow the roof clean off.
is hooping. Close one. Power core. The air's warmer in here. It doesn't respond to my palm print. I just had an unpleasant thought about a dead man's hand. Generator console works by palm recognition. This is truly ghoulish, but I've got to get more power into the base. Computer accessed. Generator HUD converts heat to energy. One of the receptor panels is missing. That receptor panel will be enough to power up the base. Here. 